Uh, it's wonderful journey with you. I have started with you in MM, and from that time, I've started taking my journey in the morning, yeah. uh, reading book habit. And although I have started that in my, my lockdown, mm-hmm. so by uh, like if I say I work as a life coach, and I am uh, working with people from past two years, but it's like uh, very on and off. Yeah. And yeah, definitely, I get a clients where I do one and one coaching. I have done one to many also, but uh, there is something uh, where I'm stuck in myself is like I want to come up with my some of the courses yeah. where I feel like I am not enough in my content. Right. So I I I'm not clear that how to move on that. Okay. So uh, topic wise, whatever experiences you have helped yourself, you know, and and this is how I deal with. i mean this is how i create my programs in every phase of my life because see coaching life coaching if you are passionate about helping people this is going to be a long term journey right for the life long you are going to help people and people's problem will never end so it may happen that today i design a manifestation program but the person in front of me is asking for a goal setting program and then i'm like oh oh why did i do it you know the demand is less in the market i shouldn't have done that i i'll start self doubting myself so instead of that because see coaching healing helping counseling uh, consoling or giving suggestions accountability all of these work a lot on frequency the frequency there okay so whichever issues or challenges you have you have either touch and go or you have gone through it and you have coached yourself because you are a coach right so you will come to know how much important and relevant it will be when you start announcing it and people will start getting connected to you for creating content you have to rely heavily on your research skills okay okay you have to read many books you have to read some blogs so what will happen you will come to know that people who are ahead of you in life or who are possibly great coaches what kind of content they have already tried and tested in the market which will work with your audience because they they did it with their audience again if you are following any foreign coaches so you'll have to give lot of indian touch to it because indian mindset versus foreign mindset is very north and south pole okay so you have to give it your own flavor and third thing is test it out with uh, by by uh, giving the same kind of coaching to your friends family or people if you have a community to some people so when you take a feedback from them after you deliver you'll come to know if you need to make some changes and then you make a proper shout out for me uh, the default uh, action is that i should know how to create a, a post for my business but if in case i'm not able to do that then i need to outsource it this is the crux yes. right yes exactly you have to change the default right If don't i have to wait you time yes because you feel stuck every time you feel like moving forward it will stop you it will always mm. from doing it exactly yeah okay so at least try not to be a champion at it you know the point is you don't want to be a champion at it you should have a touch and go and move on give it out to somebody else just for a clarity that okay why exactly you are stuck is it about that you don't know how to choose the right thing at the right time you don't know how to implement the right thing at the right time so basically you need somebody who can hold your hand or do it with you or you can outsource it who can do it on behalf of you and you focus on other things because that is most important so there is always this uh, belief that you know if you are in the service industry at least from my end because i don't come from a commerce or you know an understanding of business background then should start solo and that seems to be my safe space but even to to to, to go ahead with that has been like you know i should probably do an mba maybe now okay. that is a big uh, obstacle or a shortcoming i should say so how do i overcome that and is it okay if you're in the service industry when it is you who's going to be the lead person you know in providing uh mm-hmm. it is okay to go ahead you know starting with your own self and then see if you would like to grow yeah so how to first work on this shortcoming yeah yeah and then if it is okay to go so yeah okay so my degree 
is not going to give me a hundred percent clarity and confidence to do a business. Like even I'm an MBA, but when I was doing my MBA, I was never certain I'm going to be a businesswoman. I was hell bound on becoming a corporate employee and then later on becoming a professor, which I became. And after which I realized that, damn, I am actually good at business. I do have some business skills. I should go ahead and pursue that. So MBA is not the guarantee. Okay. What is going to give you a guarantee in your approach towards business skill is people skill. Business is a people skill and nothing else. As far as money is concerned, there you need negotiation skill. Again, dealing with people. So how you are inside the house, how your skills are inside the house is what going to help you grow your business. If you are very much good at time management, your business will be perfect in terms of managing time. If you are good at presenting yourself, representing yourself in your personal life, even if you are a homemaker, you will be good at in your business to present your business and talk about your business to your customers. So business is a lot to do with people skill. Many people say that, oh, but I am an introvert. Will I become a good business owner? If I'm into service industry, will I become a good coach? Like, for example, an introvert. I'm an introvert myself. Can you believe that? So introvert doesn't mean that they don't talk. They will be more interested in your life. And that is what a client expects from their coach. Right? So I hope this was helpful. Yeah, and is it okay to start off solo in the beginning? You know, that's giving there is no background. Absolutely. Absolutely, absolutely. Start solo. You will learn many things. And in the journey, when you join certain communities, when you interact with people, you might find some kind of tuning with your would-be partner, business partner, and you can collaborate in future. <laughs>